Hi there Capricorn, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn for mid-month March 2021. I want to remind everybody watching that this is a general love reading and so that means it can apply to any kind of situation or circumstance in your life surrounding home, family, work, social circles, romantic interests, you name it, it might apply. That also means it can apply to any kind of relationships that you're dealing with. Don't forget, be flexible with the energy. You can be represented by any of the characters that shows up in the cards regardless of gender. You might feel like this is a reading for you. You could end up feeling like a cross watcher for somebody else. Parts of the reading may resonate, parts may not. So take what does, leave behind the rest. My intention is always to reach those that may need this message, but more importantly, may benefit from the message in some way, shape, or form. So Capricorn, I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope that it resonates for you, but I also hope that you feel like it was worth your while and worth your time to view the reading. So we'll get started here after a couple additional shuffles of my first deck. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to read for you. If you want more specific information regarding my channel and my videos, please check out the description box below. Um, welcome back to any returning viewers. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started. I'll give this first deck one more good shuffle and a cut, and we will get started. Here we go. We're going to start off with the Page of Cups, paired with the Tower in Reverse. Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Two of Cups. The Hierophant in Reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Wands. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, Capricorn. So we have a Queen of Cups on the table. This could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with. Do you feel like this applies to a relationship, a specific connection? Could be romantic or otherwise. We'll see as we get more cards on the table. You might be feeling a little uncertain about this question, about this uh, connection. Um, maybe feeling a little insecure about this connection. You might feel like things are stagnant or things aren't going anywhere. Or something's gone wrong. Let's get some more cards on the table, see what else we get for Capricorn. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Page of Swords in reverse. The Sun in reverse. The Queen of Cups showed up again. Five of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords. Six of Cups in reverse. And then we have the Chariot in reverse. So I'm obviously reading for the Queen of Cups. 
she's the only energy on the table so far and there is a very specific connection or relationship that is on her mind now I want to remind you I'm going to say she and her because this the Queen is a female but male or female you can embody this energy the Queen of Cups is typically somebody who's very compassionate very loving very caring very intuitive but this is also somebody who's kind of like a, a lady in waiting so she's receiving she's on the receiving end right she's um the Queens are typically passive energies so this might be someone for example who's thinking about a connection or relationship but she may not necessarily go out and take charge and find out what's going on or initiate some kind of conversation um, I feel like this this Queen's energy is indeed passive there's almost this waiting energy she's, she's got this connection on her mind she's thinking a lot about it I feel like there's some stagnant energy on the table maybe things aren't going anywhere maybe she'd like to see it go to the next level and it's just kind of stayed in in the same place there's some some energy indicating a lack of clarity or feeling a little insecure about this relationship uncertain about it We do have the Six of Cups out here in reverse, so this feels like a significant connection. The Six of Cups can indicate um, soulmate energy, someone coming back from the past. This can indicate a long-term relationship. Um, it's definitely significant. Now, this feels like it probably is a romantic or intimate connection, but it doesn't have to be. Um, sometimes the cards will indicate um, as I get more out might indicate that it most definitely is a an intimate or romantic connection it feels that way to me right now but I might change my mind as we get more information on the table so let's get this third deck out one more good shuffle here and a cut and we'll see what else we get for Capricorn we have the page of swords again this time in the upright position Seven of Swords. We have a King of Cups in reverse on the table. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. Ten of Cups in reverse. The Hierophant again in reverse. And then we have the Two of Swords. So we do have a King of Cups in reverse on the table. I think this is the person that this Queen has on her mind. Um, King of Cups is in reverse, so there's this um, energy of, of emotional disengagement. Um, someone who might not be putting that kind of energy into the connection. Um, feels like there could be a lack of communication or miscommunication I feel like this Queen is is feeling a little uncertain about the relationship probably because there hasn't been um, frank conversation regarding the connection and so I think this Queen is doubting doubting where this is going or feeling uncertain about how strong the connection is or if it's right for her all 
I think this queen is the type of person that, um, based on what I'm seeing so far, is the type of person that if if she doesn't have clarity uh, regarding um, a connection or relationship, then she will put it a stop to it. She'll put an end to it. She will not move forward with it. So I think that she's definitely desiring some clarity. She probably wants to know where this king's head is at because one way or the other she's going to determine whether or not she moves forward with this relationship and that includes even thinking about it because I think that given um, a, a, given other relationships if this queen felt she needed communication or or some kind of um, clarity regarding the connection and she's not receiving that clarity or not receiving that connection she probably would have already left this in the past I think she's suspicious of this king of cups Um, and that makes sense. If this, king, if there's some kind of intimate or or romantic connection, or just a close emotional connection between these two, and this king disengages, not just emotionally, but um, with communication as well, then it makes sense that that um, this queen might feel suspicious about the connection, or whether or not the feelings are still there, or if there's something else going on with this king. But with the Seven of Swords, Page of Swords in reverse up here, there's a sense of deception or maybe lying or this lack of communication means something more than I'm out of town or I'm not available to, you know, to communicate. There's something more to this. And so um, I think this queen, while there's still definitely an emotional attachment here on her part, she is considering whether or not this connection is right for her because she's not going to put in this kind this level of emotional energy into this type of connection unless she's receiving the same in return. Let's get some more cards on the table for Capricorn. So you have the Six of Swords in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse. Ten of Cups again in reverse. Five of Pentacles. King of Wands. Queen of Swords again, clarifying the Queen of Swords. The Chariot in reverse again with the same set of cards. And then we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, so this Queen wants communication. And she wants it in the manner that she would be willing to give it. So this queen is a queen of, she's a queen of cups, but she's also a queen of swords. So she's not going to pussyfoot around. She's not going to mince her words. She's not going to say something that she doesn't mean. She's going to be frank. She's going to be honest. She's going to be open. She's going to be upfront. She's going to put it all out on the table. And she wants that same in return. She's not receiving that. Um... I think that, that this individual feels like if something went wrong somewhere along the line and this King of Cups is not willing to be up front and talk to me about it, then I may just need to leave this in the past. I may need to leave this relationship alone. 
because um, this Queen of Cups doesn't feel like she deserves this kind of treatment. And by that I mean this is just a lack of communication. This person feels like they're purposely um, avoiding conversation or communication. If there is conversation and communication happening, it's not the kind that she wants. It's not like she might even be saying, hey, what's up? You don't seem like yourself lately. And this King of Cups is like, oh, nothing, no big deal. I'm just, you know, bummed out about work or something. Avoiding the conversation. So I, I get the sense that this queen knows that there's something up, but this king is avoiding being upfront or forthright or not communicating at all. And so the queen, this queen, who's very intuitive, by the way, this Queen of Cups, and I do feel like I'm reading for this person. So Capricorn, um, I'm going to talk to you as though you're this Queen of Cups, but if you don't resonate as this individual, you could be this king or an external party that's aware of the situation. So you're feeling, you might feel like a cross watcher for this reading if this is not your story. Um... I don't think this king is being upfront and, and forthright about his feelings and that feels purposeful but it also to this queen because he's not um, being upfront and forthright I think that she is um, sensing deception in some way shape or form now you know with the seven of swords showing up here deception deception comes in all kinds of different shapes and sizes right I mean you could you can be withholding information. There could be a secret. There could be um, outright lies. There could be something going on behind the scenes that's not being disclosed. Um, so this Queen of Cups is sensing it. And she might have even questioned this king, but I don't think that she's necessarily gaining the clarity that she needs. Um, this this king might be giving off the air of you know I've got other stuff that I'm taking care of I've got other things that's on that are on my mind. Um, he's not making the connection a priority, and um, even when when spoken to directly about it, I, I feel like this queen is is asking for very direct communication i don't think she's receiving it instead it feels like there's kind of like the, oh you know I'm, I'm busy i've got i've got to take care of this i've got you know i've got work to to worry about um there's this avoidance energy coming off of this king he's got more important things to do right now and that's raising some red flags for this queen let's get some more cards on the table Queen of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. The Lovers in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles in reverse again. Four of Wands. Ace of Wands. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this might be a, something that's for some of you and not all of you, but I did pull out a message with this recent, with this last set, indicating that there was some, there's, for some of you at least, there were some long-term plans or expectations regarding this connection or relationship. So um, this isn't just, you know, someone you met at a party, you know, last week that you've made a connection with. This feels like it's, it's a connection at least that has um, 
has some history and that there was an expectation of a future. There is an indication that um, at least there was um, an assumption that, that this was a relationship that had a future, that there was maybe plans of taking it to the next level, maybe moving in together, you know, something of that nature. And I think that this queen probably has the capacity to be a very patient and understanding and loyal individual. Um, the type of person that, you know, if you've got something else going on in your life, or maybe you are busy with work, or maybe you are dealing with other crap in your life that, you know, yeah, our relationship might have to take a back seat for now because I've got some other things I'm dealing with. I think this queen typically would be the type of person to, to be very understanding and remain loyal and, um, and, and, and be patient in those kind of situations because that happens to all of us, right? You might have grand plans for your future with, with one particular person, but then life gets in the way, right? Work gets in the way or other obligations get in the way. And I think maybe that's even something that's happened in the past between these two. So I think that potential is there for this particular individual, this queen, and I'm talking to you, Capricorn, because I'm reading for this queen. Feels like she's come up now as a queen of pentacles. So we got the queen of pentacles, queen of cups, queen, queen of swords out here. This is the type of very loyal, compassionate, understanding, patient, reliable um, individual. Very honest, hardworking. Um, but due to this lack of communication or... Lack of clarity, potential um, deception. And again, I don't know that there's outright lies going on here or that there's withheld information or this king is keeping something to himself. That's what I feel like more than anything else. It's almost like, yeah, I've got other shit going on and yeah, I'm questioning this relationship, but I don't want to give up that information right now because I'm not certain. Like, I feel like this king wants to make sure of how they're feeling or, or how they want this to pan out before communicating to this queen. Um, but there is some question regarding um, the emotional connection that this king has for this queen. And that at least right now, it does feel like he's stringing her along, if I'm being honest. For the purpose of um, gaining clarity for himself. And it might be that this person is dealing with other shit in their life, but at the same time, they are also questioning the relationship with this queen. And they just don't want to talk about that right now. It could be, too, that this king feels disengaged emotionally with this Queen of Cups because of what's going on. And that maybe he thinks, okay, once this passes, once I take care of business, once I get past this hurdle, I can get back into the relationship. I can feel more invested. Um, but indi the indication in the cards is that this king may be feeling a little less secure about the connection itself than he's leading on. Or that he's... That he's, um, that he's that he's communicating. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I jumble my words and I just, I have to just give it up. I have to just stop talking because the words that are coming out are not making sense. Anyway, Capricorn, let's get another set out here. So we have the tower again, this time in the upright position and the high priestess. Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. The Magician.
two of cups in reverse. The Emperor. And then we have Strength. Okay, Capricorn, so let me go ahead and get this story straight for those of you that are this Queen of Cups because I feel like the reason you might be watching this reading is to gain some clarity regarding this King of Cups because I don't feel like he's communicating the way he should be. Um, the reason behind the lack of communication, miscommunication, or... Um, outright deception is because this king is dealing with some uncertainty regarding the connection itself. I do feel like he probably is dealing with some other stuff. Could be related to work, could be related to, you know, some other connections, family possibly, but due to what he's dealing with, he's using that as an excuse not to be direct and not, not to um, give this queen the clarity that she needs. So. I do feel like there was some kind of long-term plans or goals um, for this connection, for this relationship, and it's been put on hold. These plans or goals have been put on hold because of whatever this king is dealing with. Um, but this is about control right now. Now, the Queen of Cups typically being a passive individual as long as she's receiving the same emotional energy that she's putting forth, this would be a, a type of person who would be patient and understanding and compassionate and willing to wait for somebody who might be going through some, through some shit. However, she's not receiving that same kind of energy from this king. And at this point in time, Whatever um, communication is coming from this king, whatever actions are coming from this king, are for the purpose of um, obscuring the truth or delaying the truth or avoiding losing control of being the one who makes the decisions within the relationship. So I don't feel like this king wants to let go of this queen, but that's because he's working through some other stuff right now that might not have anything to do with this person, this queen. But if he were to be honest with this queen, I think he knows that she's going to be like, look, if you're not going to if you're not going to give me what I'm putting into this connection, the same the same level of emotional energy that I'm putting into this connection, then I'm I got to go. Because right now we're at a standstill. There is yes, we've talked about the future. Yes, it it did look promising, but we're not making any progress in that direction and right now I feel like I'm being strung along. And for the purpose of you maintaining control in the situation. And it's not fair. It's not fair to this queen. Um, this king may not be completely aware of the level of clarity that this queen has due to simply her intuitive abilities. So again, the Queen of Cups is someone who's very intuitive. You don't necessarily have to speak the words for her to know what's going on with you, especially in an emotional sense. She's going to pick up on those kind of things pretty easily. So while again, the words may have not been spoken and maybe she hasn't been able to validate what she feels she knows already inside. Um, she probably knows. And I think that this, this king 
probably feels like, well, as long as I don't validate what she probably feels like she knows already inside regarding what's going on with me, maybe I can hold, maybe I can string her along a little bit more or hold off on, on giving her the clarity that she needs or hold off on having this frank conversation that she wants. In a nutshell, Capricorn, what I'm seeing is you're being strung along if you're this Queen of Cups. I hate to say it, but it feels it feels that way to me. And um, it's unfortunate because I do feel the energy is still there for this, this Queen to, to be all in with regard to this relationship, but it this king's this king's priority is not this connection not this relationship um, it could be that this person is just not able to give the kind of emotional energy that this queen needs and wants because he's got other shit on his plate and i'm not trying to make excuses for this person because um i don't think that's the right thing to do i do think that you know when it comes to, to these kind of connections, is this the card I'm taking? I'm taking this one. When it comes to these kind of connections, I think that you should be honest from the get-go and you should be willing to have those conversations and you should be willing to, to talk through your emotions, um, even you know when they're uncomfortable. It, especially if this is the type of relationship or connection where I feel like there's been some kind of plans for you know, moving it to the next level, maybe, maybe marriage. I mean, we have the four of wands out here. Maybe there's an engagement or marriage or moving in together or something of that nature that was planned. But I don't think if, if it did happen, if it has happened, if, the, if this has moved to the next level, it stopped there. If it never did get to the next level, um, this king's got cold feet and this queen's seeing the red flags. So we have the three of pentacles in reverse that came out. This is a potential blockage. I wanna just do one more. Um, I just wanna look at these cards one, one last time, see if I can't get anything else out for you before I read this. So, Um, if you're this Queen of Cups, the universe is on your side, Queen of Cups, um, and pushing you to see the red flags. Because if you didn't see the red flags or if you ignored them, you would be the type of person who would hang on for an extended period of time, twiddling your thumbs, waiting for this person to get their act together, and frankly, they're not going to. Now, with that being said, you know, energy changes all the time, right? So I'm not saying that this is a done deal with this connection or this relationship, but this person in this, in this point, in this point of time, this person has no intention with moving forward with this connection. It's not in the cards for this king. It doesn't make sense for this king. This king's got other stuff going on and it doesn't this relationship's not gelling with whatever this king has going on. At the same time, this king wants to maintain a certain level of control with regard to this relationship. I don't know that he's ready to let go because he might feel like I'm gonna change my mind. Or again, once I get past this other shit that I'm dealing with, then I can concentrate on this, on this relationship. But in the meantime, this queen is not receiving the kind of energy that she deserves. And it just doesn't feel very fair to me. So we're going to read this Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, three of Earth in reverse. And see if we can't get anything else for you, Capricorn. And then we're going to wrap this up. So again, this is a potential blockage. It is about a half a page. I'll display the card for you as I read. I'm going to turn the chair. Carefully got the cat in my lap. Okay. Here we go, Capricorn. The reverse three of Earth, Earth asks that you be sure of your motives as they will play a defining role in the outcomes that manifest. 
For instance, if your goal is to be successful and powerful, sorry, for instance, if your goal to be successful and powerful is based on a need to feel you are of higher standing than others, you will likely be knocked from your pedestal. If your desire is to possess and control, you may well be met with loss and chaos instead. Keep in mind that in all things you will reap what you sow. If you want instant gratification, you may find you are met with disappointment. If you spend all your time worrying and second guessing yourself, you may find yourself making more mistakes. The Three of Earth Reversed also cautions against becoming so focused on your goals that you forget to consider the emotional needs of those around you and give the appearance of being insensitive and selfish. Do not create distance between yourself and those you love. Intimacy and connection are essential, and especially if those you love are the reason you seek to better yourself and your future prospects. There you go. Honestly, that's advice for this king. Um, but will give you an insight as the queen, if you're resonating as the queen. Um, this king is has got too much that he's trying to juggle and he's trying to maintain control and what he's doing is he's gonna he's gonna lose it all because he's not being honest with himself and with other people and it's going to affect the relationships that he not just yours with this king but other relationship this relationships that this king has um he's making decisions for all the wrong reasons because he's trying to control all the situations that he's in and I think he's dealing with too much. He's got too much on his plate and he can't concentrate on what's important. And what's important, at least to this king, Capricorn, Capricorn I, sorry, to this queen, Capricorn, which I feel is your energy, is this connection itself and the future. And um, this king just doesn't have it in him to invest the energy he needs to to um, make this relationship work the way it should be working. So Capricorn, I'm gonna leave that here. I hope that the um, reading resonated for you. And if, if it did resonate, I hope that it was helpful in some way. Um, I uh, feel for you going through the situation. I hope you're able to move forward in an appropriate way for yourself and um, gain some clarity with regard to the situation. Um, it might serve you well to have some very blunt um, communication with this king and um, maybe even confront this king and say look you know you may have not said the words but I can feel it I can tell you're not invested in the way maybe you used to be or the way I'd like you to be you need to tell me what's up because I'm not going to sit here and just twiddle my thumbs allowing you to string me along uh, I just don't, I don't play these types of games. This queen does not play these types of games. And she shouldn't. Because she, this is a quality individual who deserves the type of energy that she's willing to put into a relationship of this nature. Okay, Capricorn, so I'm going to leave this here again. If it did resonate, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment if you feel like sharing your story. I always appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.